Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on crypt arithmetic. It says that there are two digit number, uh, two three digit numbers. These are multiplied, and uh, there is an observation that the diagonal is one two three four five six, right? And all these are uh, letters. They denote digits. Okay, and uh, multiple letters may represent the same digit because you see that it is up to you so of course there will be multiple digits uh, the digits are only from 0 to 9 right so of course it's obvious that they will represent uh, uh, like same digits can be represented by multiple alphabets so it is slightly different from uh, the typical crypt arithmetic one however we have to find this multiplication and answer the questions that what is the actual the product and all those things whatever is asked in the questions Okay, so let us proceed. We will proceed like this. A, B, C, D, we will check from here. Okay, this is 2 and this is the number. Okay, and uh, here we have 3, then 2 digits, and then we have 4. Okay, then 1 digit here, then 2 digits. So obviously, this will be 0, we already know, and 2 zeros here, and then 1, 2, this is 5, and then the last digit. And uh, in the bottom, we will have six here and then six. Okay. So uh, now let us start with this. So when we uh, multiply this number, so this number multiplied by two multiplied by one will give us two. Fine. Now let's see this digit. Okay. So if we multiply by this digit, uh, we are getting four as the last digit. Suppose let us think of the carry that we can get from here. So if we multiply any number by 2, let us say if we multiply 9 by 2, we get 9, 18. Even if there is one carry, we will get 19. So max carry can be 1. If we get the maximum carry 1, that means uh, it this will be an even number. Okay, even number with one carry cannot give an even number. So that means there is no carry from here. Okay, so no carry means 2 into this digit gives us 4. Okay. Now, we are, we do not know that whether these are 0 or not. Okay. Uh, it is not mentioned anywhere. So, let us assume that this number is 2. Okay. Now, let us say if we multiply 200 something even with 900 something. 200 into 900. So, we will get maximum like even if let's say it is uh, like maximum 299 into 999. We cannot get uh, the digit 6 here. Like 2 into 9, 18. Like, if you 3 into, let us say, it is almost 300, 299, or 999. Then, 3 maximum, right? Because we have to, or if we take, let us say, if we take 6, like, if we take this, so we will, we will get some number less than this, isn't it? Or if we take, let us say, 3 here, okay? So, 2 into 3, that will give us 6, and, like, we will not be able to generate like we will be able to get four digits after that we won't be getting five digits so all in all i want to say is that there will be a number which will generate an additional digit here so this number will not be two but it will be seven so when you multiply by seven two into seven it gives us 14 okay we cannot spot this digit as of now now let's move further now if we see this number Okay, now 700 into some number is giving us 6 and all these digits. Okay, now if we say that 7 into 8, okay, so uh, like if we take some 7 into 8, it will give us like depending on the digits, it will give us 56, 56 is the minimum. Then if we, if these numbers are high, this can go up to 60 also. Okay, so if we take 8 here, then it will be somewhat 56 like these last two digits but it cannot go till like see this is minimum six right this is minimum six it can depending on the carry it can become six also so if it is like 700 something into 800 something we cannot get 66 here okay we cannot get so it will be nine okay now we will use nine and try to find out so nine into one is nine Okay, 9 into 7 is 63. Okay, so minimum 6 it has to be there. And of course, there is no carry we can see. So it should be like 65. Okay, now how to find this digit? It's very simple. We will use the divisibility rule of 9. Since this is 
a multiple of nine. So six five eleven eleven plus nine twenty twenty plus seven twenty seven. Now we need to find this digit. So uh, six five seven nine divided by nine that will give us this digit. So that is seven and uh, three and one seven thirty one. So this means this number is three. Okay. Now we can perform this multiplication. Two into one is two. Two into three is six. Okay. Now we have to find out this digit. Okay. So how to find this digit is we uh, we need to multiply this by one so we will get the same digit. We multiply by three we will get some digit. We multiply this digit by seven we get three as the digit. Okay. Now let us think like if we multiply one by seven. We will get seven. Okay, we cannot generate so much carry that it becomes three here, right? We cannot generate uh, sufficient carry to make it three. So if we multiply two by seven, we will get four as the last digit. Okay, for the third time, and we cannot generate so much carry. Okay, so if we multiply by three, let us say if we have three into seven is twenty-one, right? So can we make one as uh, three by generating a carry of two? So let us see. Let us say if we put three here, so we will get three nine. So this is not possible. We are not able to generate enough carry to make it three. Okay. Then likewise we will uh, we will just go by hit and trial. Okay. So four will give us uh, eight. We cannot generate carry to make it three. Five will give us five. We cannot generate a carry of eight. Okay. Six. Right. Six. If we multiply six into seven is forty two. Okay. Can we generate a carry of one? Let us see. Six into one is six. Six into three is eighteen. We generate a carry of one. Okay, and six into seven is forty-two. So if we generate a carry of uh, one, that becomes forty-three. Right. So just just add these numbers. So this is six, and this is zero, and we get one carry here, and uh, this is uh, eighteen, nineteen, one carry again, then fifteen, sixteen. Okay. And uh, then one carry again. This will be seven. So this will be the number six seven six nine zero six. You can check with the calculator the calculations. Okay, and uh, these are the numbers that you will get. So seven thirty. It is basically seven thirty one into nine twenty six. Right. So we have figured out the number, and uh, let's just let's just answer the questions based on it. Okay, so the first question is which letter is represented by C, which is asking this digit, which is nine. How many of the given letters represent zero? So we have to count all the zeros, including these ones as well. So one, two, three, and four zeros. Which digit is represented by R? R is six. What is the difference between the numbers that are being multiplied? So we are multiplying nine twenty six and seven thirty one. So the different turns out to be one hundred and ninety five. So that was the solution to this set. I hope you loved solving this question. So please do like the video.